We now know that SIBO, IBS and chronic constipation could just be unrecognized thiamine deficiency. And get this, sometimes having a B1 or a thiamine deficiency can actually be misdiagnosed as SIBO and IBSC because the symptoms are very similar. Now symptoms include things like GERD or uh, again, not having a regular bowel movement, slow or paralyzed GI motility, inability to digest foods, extreme abdominal pain, gas and bloating. Now here's the thing with thiamine and your gut, you know, but before that, I just want to give you a little bit background about your gut. This is so interesting guys, because you know your gut is your second brain, right? Now why is it called that? Because your gut has its own enteric nervous system, which can almost function on its own. But it does need a little bit of inputs from both the branches of your nervous system, which is the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. Now, the lower regions of your brain, right? Those are responsible for coordinating with the autonomic nervous system. These lower regions of your brain are actually very vulnerable to thiamine deficiency. So when your cells lack thiamine, there's going to be like a misfiring or dysfunctional messages which will go from your brain to all the other parts of the body, including your GI tract. Now, thiamine is responsible for so many other things. Thiamine is required for so many other things related to your gut, you know. It's required to produce acetylcholine. When you don't have enough acetylcholine, your gut motility drastically slows down, which is why you have constipation. So having a laxative is not going to be the answer here, right? You're going to have to have enough thiamine, either from your diet or a supplement. Now, when you have thiamine deficiency, it also reduces hydrochloric acid or HCl or stomach acid. Now, when that goes down, you're not going to digest proteins properly and it causes a whole lot of other issues, which I've spoken about before. Now, your low stomach acid is also a contributing factor for SIBO, which is why they're so interrelated. You know, thiamine deficiency is also one of the reasons you could be seeing undigested food in your poop. You know why? Because your pancreas are one of the richest sources of thiamine in the human body. Now, when there's a thiamine deficiency, there's a major decrease in the digestive enzymes, which is secreted by the pancreas, which actually helps in digesting and breaking down all that undigested food that you see in your poop. Now, if you have these issues and you're doing a whole lot of medicines and you're doing God knows what not and nothing is working, consider stopping everything and supplementing with thiamine. Of course, speak to a doctor about it or ask your health expert about this. If you feel you don't want to take a supplement, then try having these foods that I'm about to mention. They're very rich in B1 vitamins. Some, let's do flax seeds, cashews, navy beans are amazing, green peas is awesome. Also, acorn squash, which is like butternut squash, but like more stringy, you know. I hope all of this helps. And if you have any questions, drop it in the comments section. I'll take time out to respond.